Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. We begin this Sunday reflection in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's another day of worship and we thank God for being alive in the land of the living. Thank you, Jesus. Today is the eighth Sunday in ordinary time, ye see. Our reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, from verse 39 to 45. Our topic is titled, By their fruits you shall know them. By their fruits you shall know them. Hallelujah. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ taught his disciples many things, and he uses different methods to teach them. One way is that he uses example from nature. Yes. He wants them to live a life that makes an impact upon their generation. The truth of God's words that they know should influence the people around them in practical ways. They must live in a way that they can be the light to others. They must be able to say, do as I do. Christians should be able to say, do as I do. They must produce fruits that show that they are God's people. The same things that the Lord Jesus Christ told them. He is still telling us today. It is about practical Christianity. Living a fruitful life and producing the kind of fruits that truly shows to the world that we are Christians. If you say with mouth that you are a Christian, people will believe or accept through the things they see in you, especially your actions and attitudes. Those are your fruits, the things that you produce. A tree is known by its fruits, not its leaves. An orange tree is not expected naturally to produce a mango. No way. A mango tree cannot produce a banana. A follower of Christ should produce fruits of love, fruits of righteousness, fruits of goodness, peace, and so on and so forth. Children of God, what kind of fruits are you producing? Is it the fruit of anger? Is it about hatred? Is it about greed? These people are waiting to see the Christianity in you. What are those fruits that you have produced or your life is producing? How do you react in tough situations? Are, you, are, are your reactions pointing people to Christ or taking them far away from Christ? Taking them far away from church? By the way and the actions you take, people will see you and say, yes, this is a Christian. Or people will see you and say, if this is the kind of Christianity you want me to, to participate in this life, I will not be a Christian. Some, choose, some people who say that they are Christians today, their attitudes, their lifestyle have taken away people from being a Christian. Have taken a lot of people away from God, away from church. The Lord is talking to us through this message. If you are a Christian, if you call yourself that you are a soldier of Christ, you are a Christian, let it not just be by your mouth. Be a Christian in truth and in spirit. By your actions, we shall know you. By their fruits, we shall know them. A Christian is known by your action, by your deeds. May the Lord give us understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for you that has listened to this message. May God help us to be known by the fruits of the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen and amen. Happy Sunday. And have a good week. A fruitful week ahead. By their fruits, we shall know them. By your attitude, people of God will know you. May God give you the grace. To live a life that God will say, yes, you are a Christian by all ramification in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.